All right, let's do it. We're back after a week off. Katie yeah. was Katie was celebrating Valentine's Day too hard with a new boy, and then she... no Valentine's. Wait, Valentine's Day? Yeah. Oh, I did do something, but it wasn't a new boy. <laughs> oh, it was with her ex, and then <laughs> um, she went to L.A. She got big time on me. She went to L.A., but we're back now. Uh, we're back. Next episode or this past episode just got done watching. Um, pretty crazy. It kind of it started off with the whole Sarah and Mara drama, right? Like Which Sarah at, comes back. At first, I was kind of on Sarah's side. I was like, Mara's just like not really looking that good. Like I agree with what Mara's saying, but the way she's like going about it is like not cute. Well, <laughs> see by the end of the episode skipping ahead a little bit now you're like okay actually mara was in the right more so it just yeah. took longer for clayton to like kind of realize it yeah but i agree with you like the first i was kind of like damn like she really hated that sarah came at her age at that roast like she really just fucking hates sarah yeah but like at the end of the episode it's, i was kind of like you know what i don't know if she was necessarily in the wrong but like you said she went about it in a bad way and but then Sarah, I, I'll just never get over oh, kind of jumping ahead. Sarah, she is a crybaby, like, but in like yeah. the worst times, like she literally only cried in front of Clayton. I it like kills me that she cried literally. It was performative, <laughs> honestly. Mm -hmm. As soon as she left, she did not shed a single tear. If she meant what she said to Clayton, she would have been crying her freaking eyes out in that yeah. damn whatever um yeah i know what you mean like most girls cry in that car and it's like i just want to find someone who loves me or like something like that you know and she was just perfectly normal um clayton's looked fucking terrible this season what i was going to say was is he should give sarah a, a box of flowers and just say thank you you're the only bright point of me looking like not a complete dumbass this entire season like when he sat there I know we're skipping ahead, but when he sat there and he was like, I'm going to just be honest with you, that felt like you were fake crying. I was like, thank you. Thank you. Like, yeah. About fucking time you woke up, dude. She's, the, the, she's the boy who cried wolf, <laughs> literally. A hundred percent. Yeah, 100%. I was happy to see her go. That's what I was going to say is like, this is the one thing of redemption for Clayton, but like still not good enough <laughs> oh no not at all but i'm saying like at least he has one thing where he was like okay it seems yeah, like right? it seems like he's about to add a bunch of more no's like cons uh, to the list for the rest of yeah, this season like, way <laughs> so, more no. woo. But, uh, <laughs> but uh so he sends mara home he sends uh who's the other one uh mara eliza was it just Eliza. those two? Yeah. yeah. Eliza was a low-key smoke. She never was on TV. Never was on TV. You never saw anything far. with them. You <laughs> made it far enough. She's a smoke show. Bachelor in Paradise. She should She'll go be for. on Bachelor in Paradise. Yeah. Bit, She's yeah. a very good-looking girl. But then they... So we go move on. One-on-one date goes to Susie, right? And Susie gets the shopping spree. You tweeted it. You were like, the person who gets a shopping spree normally means that they're like basically top two. If not, yeah, because yeah, I like I remember Becca Kufrin technically won RE season, even though he ended up leaving her for the runner up, but like she still was number one, like right. initially. And then I think I'm pretty sure Hannah Ann got the shopping spree day on Pilot Pete's season, season yeah. two so that also both of those seasons ended up in fucking disaster <laughs> so yeah. it could be a sign well, this, which I think, hurts me for Susie. but <laughs> i think this one's gonna end up a fucking disaster but uh she gets a shop shopping spree and i do love though i do love how and it happens where they're like sometimes and Susie's like i've just never had a guy take me to a store and say buy everything i'm like honey he's not buying you shit the yeah. bachelor's buying you everything don't act yeah. like he's fucking saying hey buy whatever but still she got that date they obviously click they're obviously a good team 
Um, she really likes him. Really I was him. really happy watching them, like really, really happy, like almost emotionally happy about it. Like I would like, which <laughs> I, it sucks because I love Susie and I hate Clayton, but like I like them together. <laughs> like, yeah, they like, make me very, very happy. Rachel started tweaking again this episode, which was like. That's what Rachel I'm saying Shannon. though. Is like they seem like they're a good fit, right? So, at least they have that um yeah so i mean i guess we can just move to the group date right so the group dates well they had like their dinner and whatnot but she got her rose which like everyone knew Duh, but then we yeah. go to the group date we go to the group mm-hmm. date which is a therapy session and um he sends genevieve home which i thought was like <laughs> a very kind of dickhead move just because she wouldn't like necessarily open up and it wasn't like she did anything wrong like the, it's the name part, of the game that's it the is, thing but it is but like it's like okay he put her in the situation of going on a two-on-one date when she did nothing wrong how do you expect this woman to fucking open up to you when you're just kind of treating her like shit yeah i mean you have a point <laughs> that's what my point is like she's obviously not comfortable because you treated her like shit also she's just never been comfortable opening up the entire season like she has been pretty closed off like but she's cool i don't know she is but like don't you what if like he got to know her instead of taking her on a date with fucking shit like you think a two-on-one date with shenanay would fuck anyone up all right it would (laughs) fuck anyone up (laughs) so so like i'm on her side on this one he could have just waited till after i guess clayton just is on his like well that's that's before he sent sarah home but i guess that was the start of clayton's like i'm gonna do the right thing like escapade yeah i guess i just like <laughs> I, don't I don't know but then I don't yes know. so then rachel she did get like in her feelings a lot right and um that's when the whole Sarah thing gets brought up because Sarah made yeah. her feel so insecure about her relationship because all the shit Sarah was saying and Clay was like, uh, this fetus is out here running her trap. Absolutely the fuck not. <laughs> and I think I say this yeah. like all the time, but like, it's like, what do you expect? You know, he's going to be dating 30 women. Yeah. I you mean, know, like yeah. you, you only can take what he says with obviously a grain of salt but like it's like if what he says is good enough for you then that's all that should matter like you know girls are gonna fucking lie about i mean we talked about this we talked about that like come on i know i don't i don't know i don't know i don't know well the thing is also is all the girls were saying that she was like that but like i'm just like where are the tapes like run the fucking tapes like we haven't seen that insane side of sarah the way that they're describing her as like such like a like a braggy kind of person like i mean she did say a lot when she got back from the one-on-one but i don't think it was like too much i don't no, know but also i think that was i also think part of that was granted though like if, if if people are like bringing it up like that to you like i feel like that's that's granted to come back and just be like, well, you tried to bring me down, but I got the rose. So like who lost here? Like, I feel like that's warranted at that point. If someone's trying to like, you know what I mean? So like her being, like you said, where are the tapes? We haven't seen them. So like who really knows what was said and what was not, she could have just been confident, which why she already has a rose. Why should she not be right? Yeah. And everyone's already on like super high emotion, like at that point, because it is getting serious and they know that hometowns are around the corner and yeah. stuff like that so it could have just been like emotions running high and like everyone's just desperate at this point for time and like getting that yeah. rose that's and like definitely, definitely a lot of people are like you know if i go home now like i just spent all this time fell for this for guy what yeah yeah so like it does like emotions do like start to get way it's way deeper at this point <laughs> than it was two weeks ago yeah exactly exactly they're more serious so yeah i mean that group date was kind of crazy but like you said sent sarah home we already talked about it but the whole Mm -hmm. sarah she was like he basically called her out it's the only time he's like looked okay in this entire fucking season but he finally called someone out called her on her bullshit and everyone knew it was bullshit because when he said she's 
he thought that she was fake crying. She stopped crying. It was just knew she was fake crying and said, he goes, I have no more tears to cry. <laughs> like, come on now. You just got caught. Like that's what it was. It was a very, like, I, it was very funny to, to hear. It was that. her time but to go. <laughs> it was definitely, definitely her time to go. Um, and then we move on. Honestly, during that time, I kind of forgot that Serene had a one-on-one, but Serene's one-on-one date, he clearly likes Serene a lot. Um, she clearly yeah. likes it a lot. I think they get I like on, but... Serene a lot, too. I think she's another person, too, that I could see her, like, being the next Bachelorette. I think he gets along best with Rachel and Susie. I think Serene is, like, I don't know. I think she's awesome, but I think she's, like, maybe, like, the third, right? So I think she, like you said, I could see her being the next Bachelorette. But then, like, Gabby, I think is definitely, like, the eyeball out. She for sure is like the faces she was making in that rose ceremony. Did you catch that? Like some of the faces, she did not seem yeah. that excited to accept that rose. She was just like, "Yes," and then like took it and gave him a hug and was just like, Ugh. "Like." Well, I think I think she knows it too. You know what I mean? Like I like you can tell when like people are with people, like they get a different vibe. You know what I mean? And like I think she knows it too, and so I think she's just like, you know what? I don't know. I guess I get paid longer for being. Yeah, I don't know. I I don't know. I'm just, I would not want someone that I've known for that amount of time meeting my family ever. So I'd probably pull a Genevieve and get myself kicked off. <laughs> yeah, it would be a funny moment if like he said like Teddy that's Pum- that's something that I'm sure some people do like that. Like that's that's a lot like Jesus Christ. For sure. <laughs> for sure. Um. So, yeah, I mean, the previews are definitely, they look pretty crazy. We're getting up. to the whole scandal, the I banged all of you gate. <laughs> Which we've been waiting for. Like, that yeah. was the preview at the beginning of this season that they wanted us to see, right? So, we're getting to that. We have the four hometowns. Um, I don't like so Rachel's dad was the one who was talking to him outside like what do you do not to break my girl's heart I don't know why I just feel like Rachel's has that type of dad who would like be super like mean at like when you took her to prom like that kind of dad I don't know why I just feel like Rachel has that type of you dad. like take a shock out shotgun out type of yeah, dad. Like, yeah yeah and I feel like <laughs> I feel like Serene's dad is super nice but super protective, right? And I think he can tell, like, if Clayton is about his girl or not. Probably. I mean, dude, I can't even imagine, like, being a daughter. Like, I could not even fucking imagine my dad in that sort of situation. Well, like, like, you know, a lot of the dads also try to be, like, more protective than they probably maybe normally are. They no, are but that's the thing. Your dads are always, always, always overly protective of their daughters, no matter what. Like, no yeah, matter what, every dad is protective as I didn't, frick. I'm not as saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying, like, I think a lot of dads might just let it play out. And then if you hurt your da- their daughter, they'll be like, fuck that kid. But, like they like openly talk about it to kind of be a hard ass because they know they're on tv and almost have to i'm sure the producers are like hey like kind of give it they to they probably for- feel that way though too like honestly because then like the dads are having to deal with the aftermath of all that crap like not oh yeah playing. like my daughter's so they TV. mean that shit like yeah, they mean I, yeah, it when they say sure. it <laughs> for sure I, I get what you're saying um but i mean we've already said it so you think it the final three are serene rachel and Susie? yeah i've been saying I think, that you yeah. know what i think you know how he says like uh i was in love with her and i also was intimate with both of you i think serene sends herself home i think gabby goes home i think serene sends herself home and then it's Susie and rachel and that's when he is like i was in love with her I don't know. Or maybe Susie sends herself home because she finds out that she was it could like, be any it could be any three of them sending themselves home over some scandal like that. Like it's just not they all care. Like right. Like <laughs> the thing is, is like they're trying to play it up, but like everyone knows Gabby's going home next weekend, right? Everyone. Yeah. So it yeah, I mean, the only person I could not I don't think Rachel would send herself home though. Like, I think she's too far in deep to the point where like, I think she's maybe 
so emotionally into it, but I don't think she would ever have the balls to send herself home. Cause I think she really, 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 really likes Clayton where Susie and Serene, I think do too, but they like would almost in a sense, stick up for themselves and be like, I'm going home. I, I think Susie of the two of them, I feel like Susie would be the one that would send herself home because she's Agreed. like so nice. <laughs> yeah. But I wonder if it's because she knew that because he told her that or like because I don't know, like what happened? I don't know. We don't even know. That's just a theory anyway. Like, I yeah, we don't I don't know. It's going to be I don't know. We saw you saw the clip, though, with the ring. So we could be completely wrong and Gabby wins. He's (laughs) going to be throwing a Hail Mary at some point. We see a ring. So in that preview at the end of it. Even his dad was like, you fucked up. Yeah, yeah. When his dad said that, I was like, that is a good dad. <laughs> Just being yeah, straight well, he, up like, dude. Well, like, when Clayton obviously explained, probably, like, I was intimate with three of them or whatever, his dad was like, well, yeah, they have every right to be upset. I can't with. wait to see the look on his mom's face when he says that stuff. I can't <laughs> wait to see the look on his mom's face because I always say – with the the dudes that have wronged me i wish i could sit down their moms and tell them what their fucking sons have done to me and they will never do that shit to a woman again in their life because their mothers would ream them and i know that for a fact <laughs> like clayton's, clayton's mom definitely seems like the mom that like she waited until the cameras are off and then probably yelled at him <laughs> well not just that i'm saying like definitely going into this like doesn't think he like thinks he because she raised him well, thinks he's like treats everyone with such utmost respect, all that kind of stuff. I think she's so, like, gonna be she shocked. Hears it, that's what yeah. I'm saying. She's gonna be so fucking shocked. Like, Clayton, what is wrong with you? How yeah. could you ever do this to someone? You know, it's like, like oh my god, our baby. That yeah, exactly. Sort of thing. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So yeah. yeah, I mean, this episode it was it was kind of interesting. Like the Genevieve thing was like one of the bigger points, and that was like really nothing because like they both kind of just agreed to like okay, we're like Genevieve it was, was like, a huge kinda, yeah yeah like she wasn't even really like that like okay I don't necessarily don't want to go home good luck but like the Sarah thing it would have been more of a thing if she was like actually crying and felt like bad but like she didn't fucking really care she's like I know I got myself she reminds me of a fucking uh not um who's the one girl who was with Thomas and Thomas left Becca left her for Becca Tammy she kind of reminds me of a Tammy. Like she's going to go on fucking Bachelor in Paradise, I bet. And she's going to have, because she's young, she's probably, like, getting some social media buzz and stuff Sarah, like that. Sarah's Tammy 2.0. Is that yeah. what you're saying? <laughs> yes. Yes. So, like, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm, like, I don't even think she really cared. Like, I think she was like, oh, no. I've made it this far. Honestly, this is just a bonus at this point. That's like, what, and that just also, it just comes natural with the territory too. Like it just comes with the territory at this point. You might as well just take advantage of it. Like, yeah, you know? for sure. And I think, I think she like, where Genevieve, I don't think gave a fuck. I think she was like, you know what? If I could somehow get to the fantasy suites to really like insert my name into the bachelor nation, I would like to, but if I, I don't, think, I don't really care. I think also Genevieve is someone who could have benefited from the fantasy suite time because she probably would have opened up more without cameras in her face. Oh, for like, sure. 100%. That, the fantasy like a suite would have been a game changer, but like by that point, it's too late. You know, like that one, is and, way too late. And she's probably a super cool person to like hang out with, like one on one, you know, in that setting. Yeah. But, um, but like, I, I don't know. I don't think she liked Clayton all that much either i think after the whole like shanae thing she was kind of turned off by that yeah Where, like and so she doesn't she doesn't seem like a fake person who would want to like stay for no reason where sarah did so that, but you know they're both gone so it doesn't really fucking matter honestly rachel serene and Susie are the only people i care about <laughs> Yeah, I like Serene a lot. I like Rachel a lot. Susie's cool, but I would put her in like my personal like third. But I think she's really cool too. I like Serene. Serene's really cool. I like Rachel seems down to earth, but like I don't know, she's kind of giving Wait, me like she, she's did you too see, emotional. Did you see that there's supposed to be some like Mike Fleiss tweeted something that there's supposed to be some bachelor announcement tonight, like some historic announcement? But I was like, and then he said it was going to be during the broadcast. And I was like, what? But there was nothing of the sort. I didn't see that. And I didn't see anything. 
but um anything else on this episode i like like we've been saying though like this uh, this whole season has kind of sucked clayton has kind of fucking sucked he's been horrible right the ratings are down so everyone knows he kind of sucks and they just haven't been that pleased with this season and for the most part without shanae a lot of the girls have kind of just been like i don't really want to put up with the bullshit so i don't even genevieve perfect example she dealt with Shanae because she had to. She said, she, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Even Sarah could have made such a bigger blow up than what happened. And she was even just like, yeah, whatever, I'm out. So, like, it hasn't even been, like, the, the drama like that. It's been the Shanae drama that's, like, really boring. I'm excited for, yeah, the women tell all. Like, that's going to be like, super exciting. <laughs> because Clayton's been so fucking bad. And they and better not. So many- they better not shaft us and only give us like a one hour women tell all to like it's I could see them doing something so dumb like that like you make me sit through two hours every single Monday of Clayton but you can't let me sit through two hours of these women just doing it out like they're gonna protect the shit out of Clayton yeah uh, yeah I don't it would be like great Clayton. it would be great to be like with all the women like why the fuck would you keep Shanae then he's like I don't know and then like if Lindsay you know how Lindsay was like Clayton I literally told you he was making fun of mental health and you knew that and you did nothing and you still kept like, her <laughs> yeah. like having him to have to answer to those things would be phenomenal but we're not gonna get it right and then I hope Mara, we do even Mara could be like hey Clayton I wasn't that off when I told you what I told you right you kept yeah. Sarah for one more fucking week and look what happened you know yeah and Genevieve can be like Clayton, dude. I I actually liked you, and then you fucking made me go on a two on one. You fucked my yeah, wife you up. fucked that up. Yeah, so, you fucked that up as soon as he made that decision. And, it was done. And well, is it Woman Tell All the before the finale? I think. Damn, because it would be awesome if we. I know it is definitely before. It'd be awesome because with all these women, it seems like it's going to go downhill. I It'd think it might be all. hometowns and then women tell all. It is. Yeah. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. It but would be awesome weeks. if we could have the final three duking it out with him, being mm-hmm. like, oh, what the fuck? You told me this. You told me that. Well, I mean, he might send two people home. Who knows? Like for the hometown. Yeah, I mean, I like, guess, I guess, I guess we'll get that. Or he might send someone home right before the, the fantasy suites. Like he'll keep four and then send one home, like right at the beginning of the fantasy suite up. So like right at the beginning of the finale, like some, yeah. I don't know. It could literally be anything. They, it just looks like it's craziness. <laughs> I know we need it though. I need it. Yeah. Oh God. This Any show. last words? <laughs> I just want this season to end. <laughs> I agree. I, I honestly, and I don't fun. want them to to throw out another season within two weeks or a month of this one ending. Like, just give us like, make us want the show back for like a second. <laughs> yeah, and pick someone good. Clayton's such a bad, yeah, bachelor. But Gabby, I apologize for saying this, but like, you're the only person that I hope Clayton ends up with. The other three, I just think deserve way better. Not that Gabby doesn't deserve better, but like. I don't know. It's not going to be her though, so it doesn't matter. But I like Susie and All right. Rachel. Who's your one? Uh, who's your one pick? You got to pick right now. I don't know. Oh my god! There's only four people. Uh, I don't know. That's hard. I'm, I don't want to pick going, one yet. I want to see hometowns, Rachel. and then I can pick one. I'm going Rachel. Yeah, I don't. I don't know about Susie. But I've been saying Rachel's my favorite since day one. Yeah, you have. And I think she. I should stick to her. I shouldn't change my mind. (laughs) You should. I know. But all right. Wrap it up. Yeah. (sighs) Maybe next week you won't be as tired. Yeah. God, I swear to God, I was on a couch all week. Like it wasn't that bad, but still oh uh, i'm dude, tired i don't know it, it can't be that bad though like we're getting older it's not as easy to sleep on couches the shit. couch was comfortable like my back wasn't hurting me or anything in the day but it's still like i'm just i didn't sleep as well as i do in my bed yeah you're still on a couch so, yeah exactly it's still a couch yeah. all, right. all right we'll see everyone next week see ya oh whoops i can't do